so you bought a micro long range, assuming that now your footage will look something like that. But instead, it looked a little more like that. And well, I can't help you with the crashing part, but I can help you with the video part. Tip number one, output power isn't everything. You don't need the 100 watt VTX just to get far away. For example, Falcon Ride FPV, he gets over eight kilometers away just on friggin' 250 milliwatt crossfire and 800 milliwatt video, insane. Tip number two, antenna positioning is the most important thing for your range. Basically, you want the antennas to be as far away from the body and the carbon fiber of your quadcopter as possible. And then you also want the nulls never to be pointing at you. For a standard Omni, the nulls are going to be out the end, like that. And then for a Crossfire Mortal T, it is going to be on each end of the T. Basically, you want to position it so that when you're flying, those nulls are never facing towards you. Tip number three, don't screw around with your antenna connectors. SMA, RPSMA, MMCX, UFL. They are all only related for a certain number of mating cycles, which is actually less than you would think. And um, once you go beyond that, you're going to be losing conductivity every time you muck around with them. Tip number four, electrically isolate your antennas, your VTX, and your receiver. There's a lot of electrical interference through the ESC, the carbon fiber, all of this stuff. And if you wrap these guys in electrical tape, or if you just get them away from everything else, you're going to get significantly better performance than if you had your VTX and your receiver stacked right on top of each other. Next up, and many of you guys are probably already running Crossfire, but Crossfire R9 Ghost, um, a high-end radio system is just gonna go exponentially farther. Another tip on that note, invest in your antennas. Your antennas are not the most expensive part of your build, but they are the single biggest factor of how far you can get out, basically your range. And so the true RC singularity is the choice of most people who are going super long range. This is an Axie too. It's also pretty good, but get a good antenna. Next, get a reliable brand VTX. A lot of cheap VTXs will advertise putting out 800 milliwatts and only put out 600 milliwatts. Again, not all cheap VTXs do this, but many of them do. So get a reliable brand. On that note, make sure your VTX has access to enough airflow and or a heat sink. Basically, VTXs, as they get hotter, will decrease their output power without you telling them to, um, just so that they don't overheat. But if they aren't overheating already, then they won't do that and you'll get more range. The next thing you can do is going to 1.2 or 1.3 gigahertz on your video frequency. I personally have not done this. The antennas are bigger. The image looks worse than 5.8 gigahertz just because less data is able to be transmitted at the lower frequency and you need all new equipment, but it's a fact it'll go farther than 5.8 gigahertz. I personally would not recommend 2.4 gigahertz just because there's a lot of interference typically in that band, but going down from 5.8 gigahertz video is going to get you more range. Another thing, you can get a ground station or a multi-diversity uh, module and an antenna tracker. Basically what it does is that it makes sure that the antennas are always pointing in the right direction where you're flying. And then also if you have multi-diversity of more than two antennas, so you get broader coverage with more gain. I personally just point my head where I'm flying and I don't really wanna spend that money. And like, as a last little side note, just make sure that everything is configured correctly. Make sure you're on 950 megahertz on your crossfire if you're in the US. Make sure that your VTX is unlocked. Make sure that your output power is right. Make sure that you're on the right freaking channel. I mean, you can get a lot of this stuff wrong and then your range is going to be like two feet. And at the end of the day, just be able to fly through a little bit of breakup. When you go long range, interference happens, screen rolls happen, but as long as you can safely maneuver your craft, you're good. And so don't freak out, know your equipment and you will be good.